Today we are going to be making some delicious quesadillas with some homemade corn tortillas. To start off, we're going to need two cups of instant corn flour. There are many different brands of instant corn flour and there's also different colors. There's yellow, white, blue, and red. Now to use this instant corn flour, the recipe is on the side of the package. That's really all you need right there. But I'd like to add something to the mixture. That will be a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt, three tablespoons of cooking oil. You can use lard or shortening also. Now the package does call for one and one quarter cup of water, but you'll need a little more after you start getting everything mixed together. First off, add the salt into our instant corn flour and mix well. Now add in the oil and mix well within the corn flour. Now add in the water. At first this is gonna be a little messy, but once you get everything mixed together, actually the corn flour is still a little dry. Now depending on how you measure this, sometimes I needed a lot more water and sometimes I need a little less, but I just pretty much go by eye. What you're looking to make it like the texture of Play-Doh. Now if you do need to add a little bit more water and it seems dry, just add about a tablespoon of water every single time and then just keep mixing. Once you have the consistency of Play-Doh, now we're gonna be making our balls for the tortillas. Now usually when I'm making corn tortillas, I make them about the size of a golf ball. But since today we're gonna to be making quesadillas, I'm gonna be making them a little bit bigger, about the size of a tennis ball. Now take your tortilla press and what we will need is a gallon bag with the top and the sides cut. Now this will allow you to form your corn tortillas and it'll prevent it from sticking to the press. Once you press one side, flip the tortilla dough over and press the other side. This will give an even corn tortilla. Now, since we are making quesadillas, I am going to need a much bigger corn tortilla. So I went ahead and pressed it on all sides and it gave me the perfect size of tortilla for quesadillas. Now the type of cheese that we're gonna be using today is Oaxaca cheese. This is some really good stuff. It's got the texture and feel of mozzarella cheese. But if you wanna use Monterey Jack cheese, that's just as good. But I love this stuff right here. Really stringy and it's nice and gooey when it melts. Now preheat a cast iron griddle to medium heat. In a tortilla holder, you wanna put either a cloth or a paper towel. This will prevent from your tortillas getting soggy because all the heat and moisture that it creates, if you don't put something in there, it's gonna be a soggy tortilla. With our preheated griddle, we're gonna be placing our corn tortillas on there and let it cook for a minute on each side, flipping twice, and that third last minute, we are going to be smashing the tortilla and this is going to allow it to puff. Now that we got our tortillas done, get one of them back on that griddle and we're gonna add some cheese. Now when I say cheese, I mean cheese. Cheese on cheese, baby. We gotta add enough cheese to this thing because this is gonna be delicious. Now all we gotta do is just fold it over and let that cheese melt. And once it's melted to a point, go ahead and flip it. It does not get any easier than that. Let me tell you, these things are fantastic. And with the fresh salsa, yummy, yummy, yummy. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com, to get the full printable recipe. Now, I have these recipes right here. They're really good. You should give them a try. Now, y'all be beautiful and take care.